A few years ago, I started taking myself out to places alone. From restaurants, to movies, all the way to my adventures in different states. I got to see so many beautiful places, and eat food that I've never had before. And it was all because of one moment. The moment I stopped waiting on my friends. I used to cancel a lot of trips because it would never get passed through the group chat. It was very hard to get everybody on board when all of us are carrying on so much more responsibilities nowadays. But then I decided it was time to stop waiting. I really wanted to see these places and I wanted to know what was out there in this world. On this journey, I really learned how to be happy when I'm alone. I used to think that I needed people around to have a good time, that the experience should be shared in order to feel real happiness. And ironically, that wasn't the case. I was sitting on a bench in Hawaii, just looking at the mountain. The weather was perfect, and all I could hear was the wind rustling through the trees. It was so peaceful. I've also been self-reflecting much more when I'm by myself. This is probably the best thing that's come out of all of this. I finally come to terms with my past and became aware of what I needed to do in order to better myself. I used to look at the mirror and not understand the person I was looking at. I didn't know how to describe myself. When people would ask about me, I'd have a hard time answering that question. My lips would quiver and my mind would just go blank. And then I'd give him some sort of cookie cutter answer. Um, I think I'm nice. You see, I had all this time with my thoughts sitting alone to just think. And to be honest, it was pretty scary not knowing what I might find. But little did I know that opening that door was just what I needed in order to understand myself better. And lastly, doing things by myself has allowed me to take things slower, at least in a pace that I'm comfortable with. Sometimes when I'm out with friends, moments can feel rushed when others are moving just a bit faster than me. And when I'm not bound to any sort of social obligation, I can just sit there and savor the moment just a little longer. Now, this may be a topic for another video, but time really does fly by and I do my best to appreciate the value of each moment that I come across. Now, a question that I get from time to time is, do I ever feel lonely? Yeah, I do at times. It's funny because even though I love doing things alone, I sometimes catch myself feeling lonely. I think, man, wouldn't it be nice if someone else was here to experience this beautiful moment? And when I see people with friends, family, I can't help but admire and long for moments like those. But even so, I truly think that experiencing beautiful moments like those is way better than never experiencing it at all. And to add on to this, I was pretty scared when I first started doing this. In the back of my head, I wondered what kind of judgment I would receive from strangers when they would see me eating by myself at a restaurant. Would they think that I'm lonely or living a sad life? when in reality, I'm just munching down on a good meal. And to be honest, I still get a little anxious when I'm going out to a trip by myself. But I feel like that's part of the whole adventure, doing it scared. Now, this isn't some sort of groundbreaking realization for some people, but regardless, it's made a difference in my life and maybe it'll help you too. 
You know, I'll always ask a friend if they're down to come out with me, but I would never let their absence stop me from going to places I've always wanted to see. In the end, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to do things alone. And there's nothing wrong with you wanting to experience things collectively rather than alone. It's all about what you're comfortable with, and I just happen to enjoy doing things on my own company.